When you hear Duke University, most sports fans and quite possibly a good number of non-sports fans will think Coach K, right? Mike Krzyzewski, the all-time leader in Division I men's college basketball wins. Well, now he technically has a new boss, and her name is Nina King. Duke just named King its new vice president and director of athletics. She served on the staff at Duke for the past 13 years in various capacities, including chief of staff for her predecessor, Kevin White, and King becomes the first woman to hold the position at Duke. She joins Virginia's Carla Williams and Vanderbilt's Candace Story Lee as the only black woman ever to lead athletic programs in Power Five conference schools. Now, I spoke with the chair of the Knight Commission's Task Force on Racial Equity, former University of Maryland basketball great and current attorney and professor at Columbia University, Len Elmore, about it this morning. You know, my, my history is in the ACC, and two of those women are in the ACC, one in Virginia and now at Duke. Uh, but the bottom line is, yes, uh, you know, that kind of hiring practice uh, sets up role models for leadership. And, you know, it was once said, you can't be what you can't see. And so it's important that um, diversity in hiring, and particularly in, in high-profile uh, institutions, is important to have, and it has impact on, on these student-athletes. Well, Lynn Elmore played in the NBA at one time. So did Charles Smith, suited up for many New York Knicks playoff battles in the past when they were consistently good. We gave you part one of our conversation with a retired forward who played 10 seasons in the league earlier this week, as he is presently an entrepreneur and consultant, helping current and former players build for their futures and using his sports experience to help the corporate world develop the best ways to build. Tell us more about how you help corporations understand how to lead and how to motivate based on your experience. You know, what we're doing in part of my role at Fierce is I'm bringing the ability for a corporation to learn how to build a dynasty like sports organizations do. I'm also helping sports organizations understand what effective communication can do in the sports environment. Um, my abilities are to be able to articulate both sides because I've been in both industries to understand the, the terms and the uh, nomenclature that corporations may use and sports organizations may use. You certainly don't have to name anybody because uh, many of us have needed help at one point or another. Um, but tell us what it does for you uh, to be able to help those peers of yours and, and those who've come after you uh, who have retired that uh, have unfortunately fallen on hard times. What does it do for you? The narrative has got to change on what success is for an athlete. I know plenty of athletes that are doing very well. They're taking care of their families. They're making nice money still, and they're doing well. Are they making, you know, 50 million a year, 20 million a year, 10 million a year? No. But we have this narrative placed on athletes that a measure of success is to be making millions continuously after their career. Could they do it? Yes, but not everybody does that, but they're still successful. And that's what I have in my heart, the knowledge of that. And I know that I can help any athlete, whether they're current or playing, excel in their career so that they don't have these issues. 